Hey guys, what's going on? It's Experimental Merv here, and I just wanted to talk about this True Vault Escapades radio show. Um, I wanted to clear up any confusion or uh, just in general give out more information about it because uh, I think on YouTube I didn't give too much about it, but uh, it, it's going to be similar, if not the exact same, as the project I'm doing with the Bioshock radio show just a few videos down. But I've been working on True Vault Escapades for about three years now, and it's pretty sad because there's only five, uh, five not short episodes, but they're very, uh, you know, they're, they're not they're not extremely long. It's not lengthy. I think if I think if I add them all together in the end, it's going to equal up to about uh, probably a little bit more than an hour of listening, which is good. But I want this done because it's been worked on a little bit too extensively with little progress and it, it really sucks but I'm really trying to nail it with the voice actors here uh, it's supposed to be pretty unique the only other radio show I know of that involves a video game like uh, Fallout or Bioshock is this other one uh, I'll, I'll post a link in the description to it uh, it's really good but I want to do something like that but it's going to be styled in a 1940s vintage sort of way it's going to have grain it's going to have you know the pops and the vinyl sound effects so that that's what true vault escapade is going to be about and I just wanted to advertise the characters that we still have available right now and we have about two characters booked up but one major character is only booked so that means we just got one major character one minor character so that's just two over this course of three long years which has seen little progress but I do I do now know what I want specifically um so let's get started. True Vault Escapades is going to be a Fallout-based radio show uh, taking place in post-war Texas, where I live, and it's going to be in this kind of 1940s noir-style uh, radio show, like uh, Nick Carter, Master Detective, which is what it's roughly inspired off of, which is kind of what I want it to sound like. Um, I guess you can compare our protagonist, Walter, to a uh, kind of kind of a human Nick Valentine or a mysterious stranger, same outfits. Uh, they both have their own uh, private investigator offices, and well, Walter here in this specific situation, he's very down on his luck. He moved into Carbon, which is that town in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel uh, that he lives in, and I, I guess in this point in time, since you know me including a lot of other people in the Fallout community, do not like <laughs> Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I'm just going to put my own twist on it, and Walter, he's just going to be, you know, bunkered in his office, little business, getting pretty drunk because he tried to expose the town's corruption, and he failed. So they, uh, uh, what's the word? They evicted him. Yes, they evicted him, so he's living through his office. He's down on his luck, and he's probably going to have to move out soon. Uh, until a vault girl from Vault 54, I made it up myself as well, and she comes by and offers a 10,000 cap payout for his this one big job, and you know this could save him. And it, it's supposed to be very old-fashioned. It shouldn't sound anything modern-like. So you know, if you want to try out for this, this is going to be you know worded and very differently than a script you'd receive today in the 21st century. But um, that's what it's supposed to be. I don't want to reveal too much, but we have, uh, Walter who was taken, so you don't have to worry about, uh, uh, Walter taking his role. Uh, Bunny is the name of the girl that kept, comes into the, uh, office, and she is open completely. We really need a Bunny, but she needs to nail this kind of 1940s, 1950s kind of, uh, spunky pinup girl attitude, you know what I mean, uh, but I will have samples in the description that you can refer to if you want to try it. Um, what's next? We also have Overseer McKenzie, who's going to be the Overseer of Vault 54. He is going to be an older man, uh, definitely in his 50s. I'm not asking for you to be in your 50s, but if you can nail a voice like that, I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, you know, he's going to sound kind of older, wiser, but, you know, not like... Uh, not like on his deathbed old, but, you know, definitely aged. And next we have is Officer O'Neill. He is going to be a uh, top guard for the Overseer, Mackenzie. 
uh, and his niche is that he's Australian. So if you're Australian, if you've got a kind of a, a gruff voice, you know, definitely not young. Uh, I could definitely use O'Neill, but other than that, it's it's pretty much just that, you know, just a deeper Australian accent is what I would need for Officer O'Neill. Uh, that that's it for him. So he should be easier to nail. Uh. And we also have Officer Jensen. He's also going to be Officer O'Neill's like right hand man, and he gets a lot of tryouts through my email because he has no specific voice type. I don't know what I want him to sound like. I've thought of kind of a New York accent, but I really don't know. So if you could surprise me with a Jensen audition, then please, by all means, just send me an email with your audition or just a. Tell me you want to try out for him. I'll send you lines. Uh, you send them back with your voice, and I could evaluate that. Um, let's see. Other than that, we also have Mr. Matty Plays is actually playing a small bit role as a uh, radio host in Vault 54. And, oh, we also need a narrator. I left that out. We also need a narrator in the show. Uh, it's going to be all old-fashioned, you know. This is True Vault Escapades, you know, something along those lines. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, some side characters, like, uh, uh, there's a bouncer. There's some security guards. Um, if you're willing to do two voices, then that's fine. If you want to do, like, a main role and then some side roles. Uh, we also have... Uh, there, there was a teenager, but that, that one's taken, so that's really it, like, it, it's surprising how long I've been working on this, but how little progress I've made, because the main cast is five, one is already taken, but since, since then, it's not really gained much, uh, uh, progress since then. Which is sad, but then again, it's because I'm trying to nail this 100%, uh, before I move on to anything else. Uh, I have received probably hundreds of auditions since I started this, but a lot of people don't really know what I'm trying to do here, despite all the information I give them. So, if you really think you have the, the knack for this, then please uh, shoot me an email. It's allfallout8 at gmail.com. Or shoot me a comment if you need any more additional information, because I can rep uh, happily reply to that. But yeah, um, if you want to try out for True Vault Escapades, then please, by all means, uh, send me an email because I'd really like to get this out, and it should sound really good in the end. It's supposed to sound genuine, really vintage, vinyl, but also stay true to Fallout. So that's the story with this, and hopefully after this I can move on to the Bioshock radio show, which doesn't require so much uh, uh, specifics. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for listening, and I really hope you try out.